I've been lucky enough to live through what well might be considered the golden age of natural history filmmaking. Almost every year, it seems, we found some new way of revealing new things about the natural world. When I started filming such creatures, it was quite easy to show viewers animals that hitherto had only been seen in the wild by intrepid explorers. This one was among the most brilliantly coloured of all chameleons in the world. But television was changing fast. Thanks to the development of jet air travel, we were able to film in 30 countries around the globe. Natural history television was now a global phenomenon. The seas and oceans were full of animals whose extraordinary behavior up till now, no one had ever seen. And the shots just got better and better. Those are not aggressive moors, but they are quite enough to chill the blood. The question is just how close could you get? And when a lump of lava did actually land only about three or four feet behind me, I thought the time had come to leave. There have been a lot of changes in the way that we have filmed the natural world during the last 50, 60 years. But there have also been a great change in the way we understand that world, which is why studying it is so rewarding and so delightful.